Here are today's top stories and your news on the go. We're waiting to learn more about a reported stabbing in the city of Syracuse. Officers re responded to this scene at the corner of North Geddes Street and West Belden Avenue just after 2 this morning, right near the on ramp to 690. When we arrived, officers had part of the road blocked off and were looking around with flashlights. No word on the extent of injuries, but we have reached out to SPD for more information. We don't know the cause of this crash, but in Madison County, one person is dead after a motorcycle crash on Filer Road in the town of Sullivan. It happened just before 6 o'clock last night. Madison County Sheriff's deputies tell us a 24-year-old man was killed when his motorcycle left the road. He was pronounced dead at this scene. His name is not being released until relatives can be notified. And Memorial Day weekend is one of the busiest travel holidays of the year, so state police and other agencies across central New York are reminding you they're cracking down on drunk, impaired, and reckless drivers. If you're out and about, you should expect to see sobriety checkpoints and increased patrols all weekend long. Last Memorial Day, troopers arrested 237 people for drunk driving and issued more than 13,000 tickets. Well, construction of the Madison County Courthouse is finally coming to a close. After several years of work, the historic building in Wampsville will be rededicated today. The $18 million project includes a restored rotunda, new statue of Lady Justice on the roof, and new clock at the very top. The ceremony is set for 6 o'clock tonight, and fireworks are at 9. There are other events happening throughout the day.